Today's what if is a, a weird one. Let me explain. Since my character is technically a representation of Bardock, since he is one of my favorite characters, I'll be using Bardock throughout this fusion phase. So, here we go. I'm not going into too much of the story of the actual game, since I don't want to bring spoilers for anybody who hasn't played it yet, and I do suggest it. It was actually one of the games that I 100% hit. Now, let's get on with this theory. What if Goku fused with my character? In the game. Now to understand this theory you're going to have to see or more I'm going to tell you what my character's level cap was. And I can honestly say by the end of the game my character's level was around 90. Maybe 90, 99. And when I got Goku he was around maybe level 50. I'm just kidding. He was at level 92. Not 92, he was also at level 90. One of the things that I um, did after I beat the game, well, first of all, I should mention, I didn't get Goku till I beat the game. We're going to go all the way up back to when we were in, well, hell. And right before we went to the seventh part. So my, all of my team members were pretty, pretty lit. If my character fused with Goku, I feel that his level would dominate Pit. So I'm upping the ante a little bit. And what if Goku fused with my character and got my character's abilities? So no Super Saiyan Blue. There is Super Saiyan 3 though. I do, I did have Super Saiyan 3, sort of, in a way. Here it is. At this point, I do believe if they fuse, there would be a totally different story in the end. In the end, the same events would play, well, all the way up until they got out of hell. The same events would play out with the tournament and whatever. The tournament, where the group would go to the tournament, beat up Frieza and his goons, but it would be a lot, lot different. It wouldn't be a struggle. It would be... 100% easy. They would dominate him, not only with Super Saiyan, but maybe Super Saiyan 2. They would probably use Super Saiyan 2 since Pit used Super Saiyan 2. And then they would destroy us. After that, they'd destroy us. And m most likely, Lord Beerus and Whis would revive everybody as per normal. This is where Super Saiyan 3 would be unlocked. And the final fight would end up back on the lookout being destroyed by a black hole. As per normal. Now let's check this power level. Now, what I really liked was the original idea for my thing was that they went up there, they fought, and Pit died, and it went for normal. Except Pit died. He didn't live. This, this is where things get different. I feel the fight with Pit would be a lot easier. There wouldn't be no uh, super ape thing. There would only be super fused Pit because I feel we would immediately go to Super Saiyan 3 and just destroy him. We would probably even kill him if we weren't careful. This is where Pan comes in. Pan would probably stop us and be like, please don't do this or whatever. Grandpa, I know you're in there. And yes, I feel that we wouldn't kill Pit as the main character of the game is friends with Pit. But after everybody unfuses, Frieza and Cell are still in there. So Pit's not going to stop. He goes and Pit, uh, sorry, Pit's super form would still attack us. I feel this is where, per, and uh, I had Krillin along with this, so Krillin would be killed. Uh, Kid Goku would be injured, and I'm pretty sure Oats would be killed. Oats is there too. Oats would die, even though she is the one that helped me beat the game. O all of these characters would die. Obviously, this would spark something. This would enrage the character, but at the same time, Goku, this is where I think Super Saiyan God would be introduced. I know I said there were no Super Saiyan God, 
technically there isn't, but technically it's Super Saiyan Rose since it was kind of black or Bardock black. This is where things get interesting. We kill all those guys, Cell, Frieza, and all those. Pit would be left. Pit would be left. So Pit unfuses. We'd probably kill Pit and go back to get the Dragon Balls. After finding all the Dragon Balls and reviving our friends as per normal, the lookout would still be being destroyed. Now, I feel that this is where Bar this is where the Goku personality would take over, and he would say just use a Kamehameha wave times the thousand Super Saiyan Rose or whatever and destroy it. Remember, we're still in Super Saiyan Rose. After we destroyed all of that nonsense, something wouldn't work. And this is where I feel probably the final boss of the game should have been. Goku Black would appear, as he doesn't actually in this game. I almost said as per normal, but he doesn't. Goku Black would appear, as I feel Goku Black would sense this. And remember, you never fight Goku Black within the game. So he's still around in that universe. So I feel he would show up and it would be a whole fight between you and Goku Black. Now, this is where things get interesting. Well, more interesting than before. Goku Black would win with a cheap move. With You'd have Goku Black pinned down. He would use a cheap move and throw a whatever blast into your face, and you'd be injured. You'd be injured, and he would immediately kill Pan. Yeah, Pan dies here. Again, this kind of sparks something in you, and... And you go through all the emotions with rage and stuff like that. And Super Saiyan God would be unleashed. Not Super Saiyan Rose, Super Saiyan God. And now that you're a Super Saiyan God, you beat up, you beat him down. But, as per normal, as like in the original fight with Pit, you you still have the option of ultimate fusion or four-way fusion. That is where the dead bodies come into play. After every body fused, and I do mean bodies, since, you know, the characters are dead, like in the original game, in the original game, you were allowed to do that. If your team member was out for the count, you could, and you still had that alternate fusion. The ultimate fusion, as I call it, ultimate fusion. You would eventually, as Super Saiyan God Omega Power House thing you would re not only you would revive pan or pan would be revived along with krillin and anybody else who died now that you're in super saiyan god form i feel like you would now with all this power you would have the ability to go super saiyan blue and you would absolutely crush goku black i mean obliterate him of course you're blinded by rage and that probably gives you a power boost but even then, I feel even without that power boost, you still have a chance of beating beating him down pretty dang good if I have anything to say about it. Also, I could see the character rocking the Bardock bandana and an epic beard. Since I did kind of go off Bardock, that's why the 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 thing and, and, and the beard, the beard, yeah, you get it. Since Goku Black isn't dead yet, you haven't really finished him off, I feel like Goku Black would find Cell and fuse with him, almost immediately. Since maybe one of them kind of got away, just with a per normal, he got away from the whole chaos and he fused. He then powers up to... Oh, that was... Super Saiyan Rose. Super Saiyan Rose! And it doesn't look as cool as I thought it would. Let's change that real quick. Or Ultra Instinct. No. Who knows? Bam. Does this look cool? That's better. He would ob obviously, he would power up to this, and the fight would begin, but we're not going into that, and the results will be in probably whenever I make the next video. Alright, peace out, guys. See you in the next what if.